In this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through the watercolor clipping masks template, how to use it, um, all the different parts of it, and uh, basically go from there. So as you open the file up, this is uh, the first thing that you will see. It is the instructions for how to use it. Um, feel free to read through those. I'm gonna walk you through basically all of this right now. So on the right hand side here, on the layers, you're gonna see a background image, which is white, and then each of the different designs for your watercolor masks, all uh, on separate layers. They're all hidden at the moment, as well as at the very top here, the two paper textures that are included, and then your very, very top layer is your instructions layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. Now, the first thing that you're gonna do is bring an image in. So I've already opened up an image here. I'm just gonna use the move tool and drag and drop it into our, uh, our template here. So once I've got it in the template, what I'm gonna do is figure out which of the watercolor masks I wanna use or which shape or design I wanna use. So for this one, let's use the heart. And if you need to, you basically drag your image directly above the uh, mask that you want to use. So this one, we're using the heart. There's my image. I've brought it over top of the heart shape. And I'm going to turn on or make it visible. And then simply what I'm going to do is right click on my layer and hit create clipping mask. And as you can see, it puts it in to the design. You can still move this around um, to fit it better to your, uh, to your image. And if you see up here, you can see the line at the top of my image. So maybe I wanna use the transform tool. So the control T and just stretch it a little bit to make it fit better. And that's it. That's all there is to using these. Um, so you just create a clipping mask directly above the design that you wanna use. Um, and if you wanna add a texture to these, all you have to do is turn on one of these textured layers. So there's the paper texture one or the art paper, paper texture two. Um, and depending on the look that you're after, you can change the um, blending mode um, of this paper. And you'll see it, it has different, different effects. Um, Typically I, I leave it on the, uh, the multiply and that's how it comes with the template. So as you can see, it kind of adds the texture over top of, uh, of your image as well. So uh, if you need to, you can play around with the, with the multiply. Um, if you think it's too strong of a, of a texture, you can lower down your opacity as well. And that will change, uh, change the look. It takes it a little bit more off of, uh, off of your image. So. That is the watercolor clipping masks template. Um, I hope that helps.